Hello and welcome back to our legacy. So we are picking back up in the house. I actually had to do a little bit of quick um, uh, editing to the kitchen because I was having um, my sim basically just not be able to use the kitchen whatsoever and it was really really starting to irritate me so I had to like I don't know exactly what was causing it but I had to delete like a bunch of stuff but finally she was able to use the kitchen so basically though but so today is going to be the day actually that we age up our sim Leslie so she will become a child so I actually already edited the room a little bit for that so she will have her child bed over here for once she ages up so right now we're all mostly at home um, the exception being Michael who is at work but um, also we do have aged up Skylar here who I honestly didn't do a lot for in terms of makeovers because he's already gonna age up soon anyway but yeah, I did give him um, a slight adjustment, definitely emphasis on slight, but yeah, so he is, yeah, so he's sleeping. But yeah, so we are going to age her up in a little bit. Also, um, in the last part, we focused mainly on Max. So we had her prom and she also met um, someone at the prom. So in the last part, we met Kayla Villarreal and we have a crush on her. I don't know why, but her profile is not loading. So we can't actually see what she looks like, which uh, naturally. But um, yeah, so we met her last time. But yeah, also it is officially springtime in our game. So that's nice. Um, we hopefully will be done with all of the rain it's actually a warm day so that's nice um i don't know did she put the candles on the cake okay i think we're actually just going to honestly age up um i think we'll help leslie b blow out the candles i just want her to be aged up like i i'm tired of toddlers um at least once she's a child at least once she's a child she'll be able to take care of more of her needs on her own, which will be nice. So yeah, we're just gonna help her blow out her candles and then she'll be aged up into a child. <sighs> so here we are another, oh gosh, there's like trash in the in the kitchen. Um, oh, I really don't like this half wall. I'm gonna need to like fix this half. I see once again I had to readjust the kitchen because it was being glitchy and I like took away the platforms okay so I'm gonna have to make this wall here like shorter because I originally um I had to like get rid of the platforms that we had there um because it was glitching basically um the kitchen or I thought it was because of the platforms but I don't think it was so the wall is like now obscuring the view, honestly, the whole kitchen, I don't like how it looks now, which is frustrating because I finally got it to look um, nice. Honestly, I, I want to put my walls down. I I usually try to play with my walls mostly up, but it's so annoying. Um, it's so annoying um, and it makes things so hard to see. So I kind of like having all the walls down. So I think I'm going to do that for, for now. Um, okay, so yeah, we are aging up Leslie and I guess we'll see what trait she ends up getting. Oh my gosh, stinky, stinky bowls. Let's see how she ages up though. Okay, so she aged up and I'm just gonna randomize the trait that she will get. Um, okay, so she was, oh right, she was an inquisitive child. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, so she's now going to be a perfectionist, which honestly, that sounds about right. I feel like from inquis inquisitive to uh, perfectionist. And for the aspiration, I don't have the energy to go on a site and randomize one. So I'm just gonna like close my eyes and see what I pick. Cause um, I think it's easier to do it with the, the kid ones. Okay, what am I picking? I'm trying to pick something. Okay, it's the mental one. That makes sense. Mental. Maybe she'll be a little whiz kid. Um, okay, well, we didn't get a lot of stuff for her. Honestly, I kind of did not um, 
I didn't really do a lot for her, to be honest. But yeah, so this is Leslie. Oh, she has glasses too. Cute. Wait, let's let's get a little look at her. Okay, that's what she looks like. She has freckles. Okay, it's kind of dark though, so we can't see her that well. Oh, and there is um Michael. I swear, Michael's just... I can't take you seriously, dude. Not that I ever could take you seriously before, but you're just in your chilling in your little costume. But yeah, so Leslie has now aged up into a child, which you know what that means. We are going to have to go into create a sim. So let me put my cheats on really quick. Okay, so we have Leslie and Cass. I... So we are now in create a sim and I'm not going to spend forever on the makeovers because honestly, I just, I don't have the energy to do a super, super long makeover, but we will tweak her a little bit. Okay. So let's see, what hair do I want to give her? It looked like she had some like curly hair, which I think would be nice to keep. So maybe we could do, oh, that's so cute. I like the little buns. Um... And then, let's see, let me get a look at her face. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love her skin details that she like already spawned in with. She looks so adorable. Like what? She's such a cute kid. Oh my goodness. I'm sad that she isn't our heir because she's so adorable. <gasps> she's so precious. Look at her. She's so cute and pretty. Oh, I'm so excited to see her aged up. She is like so, so pretty. Like she was a really cute kid, but or she was a really cute toddler, but she's just so freaking adorable. And her little freckles, I love that she has freckles. Honestly, like this is so strange for me because like her skin details already look really good. <laughs> like she already looks like she already looks really put together, which is so rare for me because most of the time my Sims age up looking like absolute messes. But she like she was like, no, I'm gonna be cute from from the very beginning. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, honestly, I might keep a lot of what she already like, um, randomized with, but I guess we can add some extra little details. Okay. I'm, I am going to have to look and see what eyes I gave her really quick. And hopefully I still have those in my game, but I edited her skin details, like honestly, barely, because like I said, she already looked pretty good but let me just see so yeah as you can see this was her as let me just zoom in this was her as whoa <laughs> this was her as um an infant or not infant sorry as a toddler so she had the these ones the g11 eyes okay so we can pick those eyes out for her but yeah so Okay, so we'll give her the same eyes that she had before. I don't know if I gave her the same skin blend, but I think the eyes being the same is probably the most important thing to me anyway. But yeah, so we'll give her some eyelashes as well. And I swear this child is so cute. She is so freaking cute. I like her eyebrows too. Like she just aged up looking absolutely super super cute and I'm really proud of her for that so no but she looks great um she also did have glasses which we could keep um maybe but I don't know I, I don't know maybe we'll give her glasses when she ages up into a teen because I don't know if I like um any of my glasses that I have at the moment but we can see if there's any that I like for her yeah I don't really know I kind of don't want to give her glasses right now uh, maybe we'll give her some lashes on top of the other. I mean, I already gave her eyelashes on the um, eyeliner category, so maybe she doesn't need like double. I don't know. Okay. Okay, well, I think that's like her genetics done. Wow, what a cute 
cute kid. Okay. And let's see. Um, for her outfit. Oh, she has this little outfit. This, I swear, even her clothes. I mean, the shoes, not so much. I don't really like the shoes too much, but um, <laughs> other than that, it looks super, super good. Um, but we could just give her some different shoes. Actually, I do have a lot of other kids CC, so I guess we can see what else we could give her. Um, because I might want to give her something else. I don't know. Um, I think I started this off by saying I wouldn't take forever, but listen, I didn't expect her to be such a cute kid, okay? I was not expecting that. Oh, this little, like, dress. That's cute. Maybe some different shoes. Um, and we could have the little flower tights. I think that would be fun. I don't really remember how she dressed as a kid all that much, honestly, or as a um, toddler, but we can give her a different um, style. So, oh, and then for, who cares about formal? Honestly, I doubt we'll even see it. Can I just like pick an outfit? Um, let me just like, <laughs> let me just like quickly pick something. Yeah, I'll try to be pretty fast about the other outfits and I might even just do um, as much as I don't like them, I'll probably just do some styled looks for her other outfits because, you know, it's it's um, it's going to take too long otherwise. So I, I'm feeling that maybe she'll like the color red. Like that's kind of what I've gone for. Um, that's sort of what I've been going for. Um, that seems to be a reoccurring one. Um, for PJs, though, we could just do something cozy like this, something cute. But yeah, so I think her main outfit was like mostly red, but um just like with Max, we'll probably see how her style sort of evolves and maybe she'll start to like different stuff. But yeah, so I like it with the little skirt, the little, oh, fun. Okay, cute. Okay, I like that. And then, yeah, I just did style, styled looks for all of her other outfits because like I said, I don't want to be in Create a Sim forever, but this is her main outfit. And I'll have to like copy and paste makeup over maybe later. But yeah, so that's... um. That's Leslie, and that's her little, that's her little made over self. All right, so we are back, and honestly, we might as well just add more candles to this birthday cake because we're gonna use it again. So, and I don't want to have to like bake bake a cake every single time. But what do we need to do for Leslie? It looks like Leslie um, could use some fun, so maybe we'll have her watch some tv um maybe she can watch um is there a kids network yeah let's watch the kids network and then i'm curious when is our next birthday gonna be because there's just always always birthdays going on um okay so skylar ages up um in like two days and then we don't have a birthday for a while okay and also, I haven't really paid attention, but how are how old are our parents? Um, okay, wow, she's still it's crazy to think that Marlo is only now going to be aging up into a young adult. Or into a sorry, not a young adult. She's gonna be aging up into an adult. Cause yeah, apparently she's still a young adult. Um okay, can we watch maybe we'll watch some TV? with um our daughter and then it looks like max is sleeping so oh she's getting a call interesting um wait that wait that new super scary r-rated movie came out <gasps> last weekend we're going to sneak in and watch it tonight so it looks like we're being invited to sneak out and watch an r-rated movie um she could ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her. Ooh, okay. So we have been invited out um, and have the potential to sneak out. So, because we have accepted the invite. Um, but so let's see. We need to either click on the ground or an openable. Okay, I don't think we have a window like that, but... Um, maybe we'll like sneak out though. Okay. I think we need to wait though until everyone goes to bed, but I think we will wait a little bit. Maybe we'll have, um, Max grab like some food and then I think we will have her try to sneak out. 
Yeah, so we're just gonna send her parents to bed and I guess we'll see what happens if we try to sneak out. Um, I'm gonna have Leslie do some homework really quick because she needs to work on that. Okay, um, Michael, <laughs> I literally asked him to go to bed and instead he was like, no, actually, I'm just gonna like pass out on the ground. Um, that sounds ideal to me. I don't know why he didn't just go to bed when I told him to, but anyway, here we are. Okay, well, unfortunately, I was waiting so freaking long for my Sims to take care of their needs that I never actually got to go out with, um, with Max. So that's really annoying because my Sims, like, Michael was just being really weird and kept, like, passing out. I don't know why, um... Yeah, so I actually had to like reload the the lot because it was just not working. Also, I just brought Marlo to do some gardening really quick. And for some re what did she Um Oh my god, she put him in the She's she's gardening the she's she's using the Oh no, this is really bad. No, why did she put him this is just like Michael putting um putting our baby in the snow, except this is somehow even worse. Oh my god, you can see the bees are like in the plants. That's really bad. Why? Why did you do that? Um uh the baby is get the baby out of the freaking get the pick someone pick the baby up please yes um yes please do that can you pick your brother up please um we need to get him out of the garden i don't know why that was her first instinct was to put him in the garden but you know i'm not gonna question it well, I'm just gonna have um, Marlo work in the garden for a little bit, I guess, while we take care of all of our other Sims needs. But yeah, um, one thing that I'm actually thinking about for this challenge is, oh my gosh, that scared me, <laughs> a new milestone unlocked. Oh, he's able to move his arms, nice. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that for this challenge, I kind of wanna move lots maybe, like I, I know that for the legacy challenge that, that you're like, I mean, you're not supposed to, but like there is like, you know, you start off on a really big lot. But honestly, for me, I hate living on this huge lot. Also, I don't know if it's just this particular lot in um, Willow Creek, but I hate how it feels like even when it's sunny, it always feels like very shady in terms of like, I feel like because there's so many trees, stuff like that. So I think I actually, oh, whoops. So I think that I would like to potentially move lots. Also, I'm just like really bored, I think, of living in this area. So I wonder if moving lots could be a fun change. Also, one thing that I noticed with my game, I feel like, I don't know why, but like my Sims just feel a little bit broken. <laughs> my Sims feel a little bit broken. I don't know if it's because I've just had this a save file for a long time, but I feel like my Sims just don't work very well. So I almost wonder if I need to like even start with a new save file for these Sims. So I might have to do that and just like test it because I feel like things just don't work in this save file and it really bothers me and it really annoys me. So I'm going to have to maybe like play test some stuff, maybe like figure out what the heck is wrong with my game. Cause I feel like it just like, my Sims act really weird, <laughs> okay? So yeah, so I'm going to pick up in the next part and potentially we'll have a new house or a new, um, live in a new area. So, but thank you so much for, but thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next episode.